Praise the Lord, we meet somebody. Praise the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Praise the one who was, who is, and who is to come again. Praise our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. You are most welcome in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Kemji Theodore and I am the author of this uh, holiness book known as Understanding the Doctrine of Strategic Holiness, Volume 1, The Doctrine of Strategic Component of Holiness. The book is available on Amazon. We are studying holiness and the question is why should we do so? We are doing so because the Holy Bible teaches that holiness is the requirement to make it to heaven. Holiness is the condition to make it to heaven. Holiness is the qualification to make it to heaven. The Holy Bible is crystal clear that without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. Therefore, it is our responsibility to ensure that we study holiness and above all, live such a life here on earth so that at the end of the day, we shall all make it to heaven. We are in lecture one now. Keep in mind that we have 150 lectures in series one and 200 lectures in series two. We are in lecture one now and lecture one has to do with the definitions of some heaven and holiness terminology or terms. By God's grace, we have already defined 50 of them. There are 65 of them. We have defined by God's grace 50 of them. So we are going to define the 51st term now, which is incorruptible. But before we do so, I would like us to share a word of prayer. So wherever you are, please stand on your feet and begin to cry to the Lord. Ask the Lord to forgive you any corruption in your life and pray for a revelation of the word incorruptible, of the biblical word incorruptible in your life in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord Jesus, for a time like this. Lord, be merciful unto us, Lord, and forgive us, O oh, Lord, every corruption in our life. Lord, you want us to live a life that is incorruptible, King of glory. Show us, Lord, what it means. Reveal to us what it means to be incorruptible, so that we shall live such a life and make it to heaven at the end. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. In the mighty name of Lord Jesus Christ, I cover this definition with the blood of Lord Jesus. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. So what does it mean to be incorruptible? Before we look at the definition of incorruptible, Let's look at the definition of corruption. Corruption is the degradation of human life through the power of sin. We see that in 2 Peter 1 4. The degradation of human life through the power of sin. That is corruption. But because of the resurrection of Christ, our bodies shown in corruption, that is, subject to the decay and dissolution of organic matter, will be raised incorruptible. So, to be incorruptible means that you are not filthy. You don't have any spots in you. You don't have any blemish in you. You are without wrinkle. You are clean. You are pure. That is what it means to be incorruptible. The Bible admonishes us to escape from all the corruption in the world. For example, in 2 Peter 1.4 we read, Whereby are given unto us 
exceeding great and precious promises, that by this he might be partakers of the divine nature, having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust. And the Bible reveals that those believers who are incorruptible, those believers who are not polluted, those believers who are not contaminated, those believers who are pure, those believers who are clean, those believers who are without spot, those believers who are without blemish, those believers, those Christians who are without wrinkle, they have an incorruptible inheritance are waiting for them, waiting for them in heaven. Let's see First Peter 1 4. I read First Peter 1 4. To an inheritance incorruptible and undefined. And that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. I repeat, First Peter one four, to an inheritance incorruptible and undefined, and that faded not away, reserved in heaven for you. I pray that that will be your portion in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. It's time for us to pray now. The Holy Bible is crystal clear that we should live a life with a life that is without corruption. We should live an incorruptible life. We should live a life that is pure, clean, without blemish, without spots, without wrinkle. A life that is not contaminated, a life that is not polluted in any way. Open your mouth and begin to pray to the Lord. The Lord doesn't want you to live a life that is contaminated. The Lord, the Lord wants you to live a life that is incorruptible. A life that is pure. A life that is without spots. A life that is without blemish. A life that is without wrinkle. A life that is without contamination. A life that is without pollution. That is the life that the Lord wants you to live. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Ask the Lord to forgive you for living a life of corruption, a life of contamination, a life of pollution. Ask the Lord to cleanse you from all unrighteousness. Henceforth, begin to live a life that is incorruptible, a life that is pure, a life that is undefined, a life that is without spot, a life that is without blemish, a life that is without wrinkle, a life that is holy, a life that is consecrated unto the Lord, a life of sanctification. Open your mouth and begin to pray to the Lord now. In the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for a wonderful opportunity, Lord Jesus, to hear your word that you want us to live a life that is incorruptible, Lord. A life that is without spot, a life that is without blemish, a life that is without wrinkle, a life that is without, oh Lord, contamination, a life that is without pollution, an undefiled life, a life that is righteous, is godly, and a life that is holy. Lord, forgive us all our trespasses, forgive us all our transgression, forgive us all our past life, the life of corruption, Lord. Henceforth, Lord Jesus, help us to live a life that is incorruptible all the days of our lives in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Thank you, King of Kings. Thank you, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. I believe that you have been blessed by this definition. And so please, I admonish you to share this video on all your various social media platforms. And also share all the videos of the ministry you come across on all your various social media platforms. And please subscribe to all 
the various channels of the ministry so that together we shall study holiness and amend our ways and make it to heaven. And how wonderful would that be? We are going to continue with our definitions in this lecture. When we are going to define what is the word uh, uncontaminated. So see you in that definition soon. Bye bye for the moment. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.